Uh, can yeah, can go we ahead. pause and and like and let's switch gears just a little bit? Okay. Because I I'm just I'm just like dying to talk about insecure. It, can we just yeah can we get into it? Oh yes, so we, we, we can, can look. Just, uh, let's uh, let me write this, this one thing right down right. so I don't forget uh, to. Uh, there we go. Okay, insecure. What's up? What you think? Okay. Okay. Spoiler, spoiler alert! Spoiler alert! Spoiler alert! Spoiler alert. Spoiler alert. We're about to talk about insecure. There we go. <laughs> There was so much to love about this episode, but kid. can I, can I just say, can I just say the best part of the episode was the preview for next week. Oh, damn. <laughs> what? Damn. No, no, um, that's, did you hear what I said before? I said there was so much to love about this episode. Okay. So, like, this okay. isn't a shade. Okay. okay. This is a shade. Okay, because this is the best part of the episode. Oh, my. Oh, my. Well, damn. I was like. <laughs> no, but, like. I, I don't know about y'all, but like this for me felt like we back on track. Yes. This episode felt like, like all the stuff that we love about the whole show, not yeah. just uh, single episodes, you know, just the tomfoolery, you know, some of the little like dream sequences or whatever. It even gave like, it even gave me like a taste of like awkward black girl. Do you know what I mean? Yes. <laughs> and I just, I loved it. There was so much like, there was so much comedy in this to like was battle some of, some of the some of the the friction that and mm -hmm. some of the tough topics that were being discussed that I was just living. And then when I saw the preview for next week, I was just like, yeah. girl, it's, we are back. Yeah, we are back. It, so it was everything. Like, and you know, like watching the wind down, like you can see Natasha directed the episode. Yeah, like she did. the comedy in there. It's shine. so her style. So, it's so, it's <laughs> yes. so her style. Yes. Um, but I ain't gonna lie, bitch. When she took that baby and she said, <laughs> "Fuck, I can't." Fuck I can't. scream. <laughs> I, 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 I <laughs> and she started kicked Gondola. I screamed. She said, "You want some too?" Right. I, because I let me tell you, I was not sure what was going to happen after last. I was bracing episode. myself. I was, I was bracing myself because I she felt like it was going to be around, a turn <laughs> when she turned around, I was like, oh shit, okay. <laughs> this can go a million different ways. And Lord have mercy. Girl. Like they, they, they were just- They it was set like it up line perfectly. It was like yes. hook, line, and sinker. So. They were just like drawing you in, then let <laughs> you swim did. back out, then drawing you back exactly. in, then let you swim back out. And then next thing you know, bam, you didn't caught up. Do that baby. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck that kid. The, the drop, meme going to drop kick Condola. <laughs> <laughs> the meme going around that cartoon of that woman shooting that yeah. baby is going to live rent free forever. Ever. So so. And then, like, I forgot about it. And then halfway in the episode, when she see Condola at the at the yeah. at the, stand, at the taco stand or whatever, and Condola said, "Bow, bitch." I was like, oh, "Wait!" <laughs> but she first, I just love how, like, again, she just kept like up in the ante like she's like oh yeah what about this yeah this isn't oh, yeah. one of those things that you got oh, and you know that long stroke yeah it's even longer and two inches. <laughs> they wrote uh, the shit out this episode they really I do look it. when molly woke up and she was like oh who watches this so she went downstairs she was uh, like uh. so i found this watch in the hallway nowhere near my room nowhere near my <laughs> nowhere near my <laughs> who this belongs to and they all said that 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 part it was cool because literally working in corporate America, fucking business trips are like adult spring break, and mm -hmm. it's fucking ridiculous. Like I think like now that I'm getting older, well, I, two, I see it's why. It's two different ways. It's two uh -huh. different ways because it, it can be adult spring break, but it can uh -huh. also feel like you trapped in jail with that, like these that people part that you too. Can't be yourself. <laughs> mm -hmm. That part. But like, literally, especially like I guess like when I was in my twenties, just looking at these grown ass people show they ass really like on these business yeah. trips where i'm like like what the like i still go out like i don't need to be out here drinking like this mm -hmm. <laughs> and so i was like damn that is so true but um, it was also yeah, nice seeing black good. folks be like that in corporate For though too sure. like especially like that was one of the things i loved about seeing that is like yeah. you know we can you know be ourselves yeah. you know as well especially when we're around each other like that yeah. i just i loved it well that was also a full circle moment for molly in her professional career mm -hmm. because if y'all mm -hmm. will remember when she first got that job and they even like joked about yeah. it so, like when you yeah. came here you was talking about oh y'all don't do docu sign what well, they do this, <laughs> like bringing all that stuff in and there. take your ass to starbucks like the rest huh. of us <laughs> 
But oh, like, you don't got see... a milk steamer here? Bitch, go take your ass to Starbucks. Like the rest of the <laughs> but like to see, but to see again, this just goes goes back to this this idea that that Molly's been putting in the work and she's been mm-hmm. letting down those guards and yeah. like and and it's it's nice because then you get to see that from the other end because you really didn't get to see the personality of the people the personalities mm-hmm. of the people that she worked with because yeah. um L- L- Lavelle L- L- Lorel what is it name. the guy yeah. that the well, anyway, one. him <laughs> the fine one yes yeah he fine mm-hmm. as hell um and that other I'm one not... the, the one that was sitting next to her on the couch too I was like that's a man boy. yeah he, he was, was fine too yeah. <laughs> but like <laughs> they particularly <laughs> Those two wait, wait, well, do that again. Had... Particularly what? Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> okay. Particularly. Yeah, it can't be like two in a stink, one in a stink. It's like two, 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 two gripping the balls, one in the stink. I don't know. <laughs> Why would that so comfortable, girl? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I mean, if you got it, you got it. Uh, right, you so. right. Right. And if so. you give it, you give it. Honey, no judgment but here. Like, but those two, and by the way, community, if you're not if you're not watching on YouTube, this That's is one of those episodes. <laughs> yeah, you want to be watching on YouTube. But oh, yeah, God. it was just nice to it was nice to see that full circle moment with them, with her work people, because you yeah. you got a chance to see all this other stuff happening in Molly's life, particularly, and now you get to see the work that she's put in with her coworkers, and mm-hmm. it was it's just really nice to see all black executives vibing together in a professional setting yeah. which is something that again you just don't see that often and two things that teal outfit like that teal outfit with the dress like that oh like, yeah like adidas or something the, i was like mm-hmm. yes. i was like i want that i would rock the Man. shit out of that belly and all <laughs> Girl. um that, yeah that outfit was everything and then even like the blue the suit suit yeah uh, afterwards like, the next day i was like, I was okay. like this okay okay and even Issa's wardrobe. I was like, what yeah. What, 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 they spent some coins this season. Um, yeah. But then I loved the barber scene because I recently changed barbers and I felt like I was mm. cheating on my barber. <laughs> mm. And that's a legit ass feeling to like, I don't know what it is. Like why we're all just like, especially barbers are very like possessive of their clients. And even like as a client, you're possessive of your barber. That scene hit me because literally just three months ago, changed my barber. And felt like I was cheating on him. <laughs> that, but that nigga was wrong though. That nigga was wrong though because because Nathan Wait, did the right thing. Up. Nathan did the right thing I agree. because that dude was like beyond late. Yes, beyond late. There's a there's one thing when you are you're you're running behind and you're waiting for your barber. Yes, that's just that's the norm. But when your barber ain't even, ain't even fucking there, there yeah. That's when you are in the wrong as yeah, a barber. And it sounds like it's a habitual thing. A very and much. And then when they started talking about how he was eating people lunches and how he was talking about women and weaves and stuff like that and like not paying his dues, yeah, like that dude was filling himself way too fucking much. Yeah. And it would and it crossed the line. And I was not, and then he brought up Nathan's bipolar yeah, stuff man. too. That like was problem. I was waiting for. I was waiting. I was like Nathan, throw throw down. I was like Nathan, throw down. Right. Throw the fuck down. Fuck who you bring. I, fuck this whole, uh, I'm bringing Wu-Tang Clan. I'm bringing all these celebrities in. The RZA, like, the Jizza, the Inspector I just like, But, but fuck that killer. shit though. Because <laughs> at the end of the day, then you need to, then you need to be less lax about this non-fucking celebrity that you stood up then. If you're going to be like... pushing celebrities, then your regular customers, you, sh- you can't be mad that I took care of them. Yeah. Yeah. I feel like I feel like again, this is another example where represent representation matters because I bet there were so many people who were watching that episode who know somebody who oh, for whatever yeah. reason got got whatever clout that they have that gives mm-hmm. that they feel that it gives them the right to be able to act however right. they want. Yeah. And you again, you don't get to see that uh, that often. And the fact mm-hmm. that you know he used that very triggering language with um, you know, with Nathan, yeah, you know, as it it hurt my heart and I was right there with you. Like, you know, just yeah. clock him, fuck that job. You can go anywhere yeah. else, da, 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 da. But at the same time, again, a teachable moment, mm-hmm. you know, like he he showed restraint. He showed that he was he wasn't still manic because imagine if he wasn't on meds. Yeah. Yeah. He would have reacted a whole happened. differently. He would have reacted a whole differently. Been, so yeah, it was, was, a real it was scene. great to see yeah. that and to see people's lives at, like hard 
you know, like I'm counting every single penny working people um, to to see their lives reflected in that way. Because I'm sure there were so many people that were looking at that like, damn, that bit, that <laughs> just like Barbara right, so over so, at my right. job. Who yeah. keeps doing this, that, and the other. And it was, a, but they still found the humor in all of it too. Like it wasn't, like it was a heavy scene, but they still, like it was hilarious. Like at the same yeah. time, like they yeah. wrote the shit out this episode yeah and but yeah. then okay another obviously the biggest part of the episode nathan is and, really and nathan, and, nathan Issa, and Issa. yeah and Issa wanting him to say i love you back she said oh you like this oh you love how i fuck you like <laughs> right. this what else you love <laughs> and what else? Anything else? Like, uh you want a different <laughs> position <laughs> and, and and his rebuttal when she kind of just confronted him saying like i told you this he kind of had a valid had statement a point, a point. You know, yeah, but, but the thing is, they were both right. At the Absolutely. end of the day, they were both right. And I Absolutely. think that was one of the things that I really loved about the episode mm-hmm. is like, what Stand do by you your do? Stand, or but not just that, Stand but like, by your but, choices or whatever. Yeah, say. but what do you do when no one or when both people are in the wrong or, yeah. you know, or, and, this, and you are still right? Like you're wrong and right at the same mm-hmm. time. You know, like, how do you navigate those situations, yeah. you know? And, and that's and, usually, like, what it usually is in relationships. Mm-hmm, it's like, right. you both have a valid point. So <laughs> when they sat there, when they sat there at that dinner, it reminded me literally of of her and Lawrence when they yeah. first, in that yeah. first episode. And I sat there and I was thing. just like, I was like, Yeah, and she realized damn. she's in that spot again where, yeah. she's like, she sees the potential of somebody. Yeah. But does she want to go down that road again? Mm-hmm and wait for the potential to come about, you know? And mm-hmm. she already lost the potential last time. She was right about the potential, and it got there, mm-hmm. then that got screwed up. So you could kind of see. Yeah, it was a, there was a lot in this episode mm-hmm. for like 27 that. minutes. <laughs> Girl, like, it's like they it, felt it literally felt lot. like two hours of content, but it was jam-packed in like 30 minutes. And they still got I heard that music, in there. And as still, soon as I heard but... that music, I was like, ah, wait. Yeah. It's done. <laughs> Even Chris shot in there. I was mad at that nigga still. I was like, yeah. why this dude acting like this for real? I was... And it just pissed frankly, me off that he didn't understand that she was doing her job. Like, it really pisses me off that he really thinks that she, like, wasn't standing for him. Like, because she was. Like, in the room with the people, she was batting for him. They just were knocking and they were saying no. Yeah. And for him to act like she didn't even try, I'm like, that's that's... Oh, it was foul. Yeah. It was foul. Yeah. <clears throat> I find it problematic because I found it problematic because it's, his show is trash anyway. So with, <laughs> yeah. all, the, with, all, with all the shit that, that they didn't want him to do with the drums and the people yelling and, and saying, you know, like the N-word yeah. and da 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 mm-hmm. and all that, and his clothes were trash. So it's like, you that hype for nothing. And what I don't understand is, because Issa said it, two things. One, she said it. She's like, you came to me and like, I just need a chance. So she gave you a chance. But mm-hmm. when you get a chance, that doesn't mean that you get to dictate. You get a chance. That doesn't mean yeah. that you get your way. So right. that, there's a very big difference there. And then the second thing is, I think you were hitting on it, Jarrell, is that the fact that she just wasn't standing in her own, like in her own decisions. Like at the mm-hmm. end of the day, this ain't Issa's show. And for mm-hmm. her to be coming at, for him to be coming at her about, mm-hmm a decision where she's not the money maker. She's not the one that's putting on the show. She's not the, like, she yeah. is the go between. <clears throat> I felt that was foul, but she should, yeah. again, she should <clears throat> just stood in her own, and stood in her own decision. And it quite frankly mm-hmm. shows you too, how quickly corporate America and specifically white America and corporate America could throw you under the bus if it mm-hmm. suits them. Because out of all the stuff that he was telling, like the two guys, honestly, he was a black and a white guy was telling Issa in that boardroom was all thrown out the window and threw her kind of underneath the bus because they're like, oh, this was so great, this and that. It's like, no, nigga, you told me like an hour ago this shit was whack and we didn't want this. So Mm -hmm. it just kind of showed you that whole thing. Sometimes you get thrown under the bus for these situations as well. Yeah. Um, and another scene, like this, this, this is a great ass episode. This I love the whole episode. scene of Issa at the hospital too, about like the the, the cashew cheese, <laughs> yeah. and then Molly's like, "My brother got herpes." <laughs> yeah, herpes. <laughs> yeah, herpes. <laughs> I was like, that that whole scene was just so dope. That was so good. It was that so was dope. so good. It so, was so this, good. This this was it. My favorite episode of the season. This one. Was, was well, my I like the fave. I like the first one still the best. Mm-hmm. I think. 
Yeah, Ugh, I but this too. is a good ass episode. Cause that scene when they got robbed her. still cracks me the fuck up. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> why she take your shoes? <laughs> you know why? <laughs> And then I'm next week dying. we get all we get the whole crew back. So, so yeah, we'll see. They get it's getting it's, this is the wind it's down, girl. It's, it's girl it down. And can you believe it? This is this was episode six. Yeah. So we are yeah. more than half yeah. of the way through. Seven, eight, uh, nine, and ten. Four more episodes. Uh, you saw how I caught on my hand. I'm like, ooh, ooh, ooh. Uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> I couldn't think that quick. That was funny. So yeah. So oh. Let's see how they end this. I don't know how they're gonna. I don't know how they're gonna end it. And Kiki okay. Palmer. Can we do something next week? Yeah, and hold up. Kiki Palmer was just on uh, Deez's and Meryl, and she said they. She heard that they filmed multiple endings because they didn't want anyone to know. So even the mm. folks in the show have no clue besides like who wrote it and Pai Issa mm -hmm. knows how mm -hmm. it's gonna end. <laughs> I want us to. I want I just I want a group chat with y'all. Like we will be together. We'll be in Dallas together. So we well, gonna watch I'm this. Fine. Sunday. I'm gonna be on a plane back here though that Sunday night. Like, oh, I'll come back Sunday oh night. really? You come back yeah. Sunday night? Yeah, oh. I know. I know. <laughs> <laughs> so like I'll, I'll be on DVR. <laughs> Damn. Or HBO Damn. Okay. Max the next but day. one of these episodes, we I like. I want to watch at the Ooh. same time, and we should like text. Do we maybe do go it the live. Day after Christmas? What's everyone doing the day after Christmas? Maybe Get we like go live out. because it's we my anniversary. A... Oh, I gotta man. put out. Hey, you're right. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I don't say that with no sadness. Okay, I say that right. with zero sadness. Okay. Zero. <laughs> a bitch is more than happy. That okay. part. That part. So yeah, we'll we'll figure out Dave. Maybe we, out. Uh, these last four. So maybe just go live on IG. Mm -hmm. And because you know, four, I'll put out early in the IG. day. I'll put out early in the day. I'll be ready. <laughs> I'll be ready. Yeah. I'll I don't ready. know. He might be ready for round two. You don't uh, know. You know. I'll be I'll... extra ready. I'll be extra ready, y'all. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. <laughs>